Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In this video today, we are going to learn how to change the size of the sprite with the code. In previous video, we have learned how to change the size of the sprite by typing the value, the number here in the size field, here in Scratch Editor under this stage size field and that is hard-coded value because it's called like that because you cannot change it while the game starts so if you want to change it later or try to define it to behave in some kind of interactive way you have to use the code and the code to change the size is here in looks scratch block so click on the second circle from the top which says looks go and find some of the blocks which says size size so we have change size for example set size and here is one more size i will zoom them to see them better and i think that's it three of those uh, i have explained those in more details uh, when i uh, shot some videos on scratch blocks so you can find them i will put the links uh, down below in the comments and um, i will try just to make a couple of simple examples here just to uh, try to explain the difference between this hard-coded value here and this now um, option to change the size by the code so again that is very very important for you to divide in your um, uh, workflow in your understanding of how uh, computers not just scratch works uh, you can define some stuff by default by values by sprites by uh, stuff you import in the game from the start but also you can define some of those same values later by the code so those are two different approaches sometimes you will use the one sometimes you will use another one sometimes you will use both of those interchangeably or uh, um, or whatever the game uh, needs to okay so let's see this in action um, these blocks here as you can see uh, these first two change size and set size they have some kind of dents here like a little uh, indentation here and a little uh, out here below so on the top there is like a hole and below there is like some kind of uh, bulge so um, we can attach them to other blocks and most of the time you will uh, have to uh use these with combination of with blocks of events or control and these are the most common used blocks most powerful probably so for example i can use this when this this sprite is clicked uh change size by 10 or to be more precise sorry i will use it for this guy here sprite 2 which is already huge he's 250 so for example if i make the game where this guy here the cat normal cat with 100 percent shoots some arrows or bullets on this big guy here so every time uh, this sprite is um, uh, shot by bullet or arrow it should change its size to 10 for example like this and uh, we will simulate that now in the game so when this sprite is clicked i will click now on this big fellow here and he will grow uh, that is not what we want we want him to grow smaller not bigger so we will change the size from plus 10 to minus 10 minus 10 means go in opposite direction go smaller so uh imagine i'm shooting some bullets and this guy becomes smaller smaller and he disappears so you can use this in your game uh 
the problem I have here is when my game starts this guy here is now small because Scratch remembers everything so he remembers how this game ended and it ended with this guy becoming re really small I don't want that I want my game to start how when the game starts that is when the green flag is clicked I want this guy to start with size of 250 so check out now my game when I press the green arrow here how this guy will grow to giant size oh simple as that so every time I start my game this guy will start as a giant which is great and that is how um, you can use for example this block change size and this one set size too a uh, very simple example but uh, easy to understand and follow um, the uh, the possibilities are endless you can use this uh, for animations for games for um, uh, for example for buttons when I hover over button uh, like user interface the button will grow when I hover off it will become normal and so on or for example if you make animation of Alice in Wonderland there is a scene where Alice eats the cookie and becomes uh, bigger and then it's the other side of the cookie or the drinks the potion I don't remember and she becomes smaller so you can animate that with these two blocks and similar with this one size this block you can see it's different it's like some kind of circle oval block you use that in combination with these operators so you can check the size if the size is smaller if the size is bigger uh, then do something so for example if the size of the boss of the boss cat is greater than he will become uh, angry and powerful and if the size is less than 50 percent then uh, make him run and so on so again it's all about what your game needs and again this is interactive way to use it uh, this is by code not hard coded so we can see how clicking on this cat here the hard coded value here in size in scratch editor changes and it's no longer hard coded because the code changes it uh, that's it for this video we have we have i hope we have learned how to use um, and where to find first of all where to find this these size blocks scratch blocks and uh, some simple examples how to use them and the rest is uh, upon you depending on how and where and when you're going to use it um, explore it experiment with it uh, be creative and don't be afraid whenever you make some kind of mistake or error it's just like simple is this uh, simple as this just go and delete it okay let me try with this okay and so on so it's all about you and uh, your workflow uh, that's it for this video see you in uh, next one thanks for watching and bye for now